Uh, hello guys, welcome to this video. So in this video, I will show you how to create a PDF editor which runs directly in the browser. It can be used to edit, annotate your PDF documents with text images as well. So you can see it actually have this interface. You select your PDF document, whichever PDF file that you need to edit. And uh, let me select this one. And as soon as you select this, you will see the file will be displaying it in the browser. This is a first page, second page. It will automatically detect how many pages are there. And we have these controls, zoom in, zoom out. So it's also very good for reading files, reading PDF files right in the browser itself. You don't need any third party software. And then we have additional options right here in the toolbar. If you see one by one, so first option is for printing it out, if you want to print this PDF file, there is a print button directly. Click this button and you will be able to print. The second option is that for adding text. So if you want to annotate the PDF file, so here you can simply click this option and then just control the size of it. And then you simply click the location where you need to add the text. So let me add this. And then here we can place it accordingly. Just select the location you want to place the text and you can even change the color as well. So you can see that it's you can add multiple text here. Just click at the location you want to add the text and you can see that. So the next option we have is to draw. If you want to annotate, say there is a pencil icon if you see. So Again, you can control the thickness of it, opacity as well. So using these sliders. So if I do this, you will see this is actually your annotate. So if you want to highlight something in the PDF, you can easily do that. Go to the next page, do the same thing. You can see how easy it is. You can even change the color from the color picker. You can do multiple highlighting. So if you want to change it to this color, green color. Now we can even have the add image option as well. So this is your last option, image option. So click add image. So if you want to add any image on this, you can easily do that. You can place your image, control the size of it. That's all. So then after you modify your PDF, there is a download button here. This is your download button. Click the download button. You will see the modified PDF will be downloaded with the changes that you have done. This is your image highlighting the text that you had it. So this is the tool guys. It directly runs in the browser. That's the famous part. And I developed this in simple HTML, CSS and JavaScript. If you need the full source code, the link is given in the description. You can go to my website, brocodestore.com and directly purchase the full source code. And after you purchase it, you will get the zip file. And after you extract the zip file, you will get this directory structure. And now for running this project, you come to the terminal. And if you want to run it locally, just run this command here npm run dev before that you just need to npm i so this will create a node.js modules folder to actually install all the node.js modules and then say npm run dev so this will start the development server localhost 3000 you will see so if you just go to localhost 3000 so we are running it this application so this application will open this is here you can select your file so there are in this file is 23 pages so you can see you can go to any location by previous next page like this as well you can input directly the page number go to that page number as well so I showed you all the functionalities now come to the source code you will see it coded inside TypeScript the code is very easy to understand if you are a developer you can even extend the capabilities of this application as well to add additional features so you can see that so we are in the package.json file so this, these are different commands out there we have the start command development command and you can even uh, basically we are also using electron here 
you can convert this application into a desktop application as well so if you want to run it as a desktop application rather than as a web application you can simply run this command npm run start so this will now run as an electron application as a desktop application so you can see it is address already in use so first of all you need to stop this so at, at one time you can even run one so again run this npm run start for starting it as a desktop application so you can see that it is using electron here and you can use it as a desktop application as well so the process will remain the same you select the PDF file that you want to edit all the functionalities will remain the same so this time it will be a desktop application so if you click the save button like this you can choose which application to run so this is actually the application guys and uh, it uses the PDF JS library on top of it we have developed this application PDF JS if you don't know it's an open source JavaScript PDF JS is a PDF generation library in JavaScript so we have used this library and built on top of it to actually build this entire application in HTML CSS and JavaScript and if you check the public folder you will see this is coded entirely in HTML CSS and JavaScript if you need this project guys the link is given in the description you will get the full source code from my website procodestore.com and uh, also visit my website as well freemediatools.com which contains thousands of tools regarding audio, video and image and I will be seeing you in the next video.